What's going on everyone, it's Nick, and before we begin, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. This is going to be real quick, I'm not even going to do an intro. I just want to get this out here because less than 24 hours after I uploaded my last video, which hardly anyone has watched, so please watch it if you haven't yet, I have some more Yankees news. The Yankees just picked up Justin Wilson from the Mets on a one-year deal, and if the lighting just changed now, that's because I just had to throw this in because I forgot this on my first take that Justin Wilson was a Yankee in 2015, and the Yankees traded him to the Tigers for Chad Green and Luis Sessa, and Luis Sessa a, not a bad long reliever just not someone that you'd really like to have as a starter and Chad Green's been excellent for the Yankees other than that abysmal start to the 2019 season and also in the playoffs that year but both are still on the team now and now Justin Wilson's back with the Yankees even though Justin Wilson did well with the Mets the fact that the Yankees still have Luis Sessa and Chad Green and now they just got back Justin Wilson yeah I'd say that the Yankees won that trade but now if you're a Mets fan I wouldn't say this is something to freak out about but definitely not something that I'd exactly be thrilled about either but I think he's replaceable, but for the Yankees though, yes, it is a good move. Now, yes, the Mets do need some bullpen help, and I think that they can get that just fine. I think Trevor Rosenthal is still available, so that's probably the best reliever that we're looking at right now, unless there's someone out there that I'm not thinking of. You can let me know. And for the Yankees, they got rid of Adam Adovino to save money, and then they bring in Darren O'Day and Justin Wilson. Both of them together cost less than Adam Adovino, and both are quality pitchers. Now, Justin Wilson does tend to walk some batters in. He does give up some hits. He does leave a lot of runners on base. Well, last year, not as much. Actually, at a pretty low percentage when looking at fan graphs. But in the past, yeah, he used to leave a lot of runners on base. And looking at baseball savant, he has decent velocity on his fastball. He does strike out a good amount of batters. He has a bit of a control issue. He doesn't have a great walk rate. Although he doesn't get hit that, all that hard. So that's nice to know. And his whiff percentage is not really great though. But I'm okay with that for... Most of what I see, even though he does have a pretty high whip, and his Sierra being a lot higher than his ERA would probably tell me that he's had quite a bit of luck on his side, but still, I think that this is a good move for the Yankees. I'll definitely take it. And as for Brett Gardner, we don't know if he's going to be back or not. I know the Yankees are really trying not to go over the luxury tax. And if Brett Gardner's not back, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. If he is back, though, I mean, okay, he's a nice fourth outfielder to have. Or can we say fifth because there is still Giancarlo Stanton? I mean, I'm sure Giancarlo Stanton's going to DH for much of this season, but... I'm expecting the main outfielders to be Judge, Hicks, and Frazier. And having Brett Gardner on that bench, I don't mind, but if he's not back, then I won't lose sleep over it. And they also signed Robinson Chirinos to a minor league deal. We don't know if he's going to make the roster, but that's not really something that I really feel strongly about. I mean, sure, if he does make the roster, then some catching depth but it's pretty ant to me the big thing though is that the Yankees got Justin Wilson and him and Darren O'Day replacing Adam Adovino I like it for the Yankees so yeah I told you this is gonna be real quick because I'd like to do other things now so please remember to like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new here trust me most of my videos are a lot more in depth than just this I usually make longer videos than this and my subscribers would know that but all right I'll catch you next time because I want to be on to some other things right now